it's going great here, and we're learning all things tomatoes with the help of John Duncan of Green Gate Garden Center here this morning, and Rebecca, who is our contest winner and a huge fan of tomatoes also. This is your little secret obsession. Um, yeah, I really have a thing for t tomatoes. I've got a whole bunch of different varieties. Um, yeah, recently I've heard about a technique called tomato spanking. <laughs> um, it Come on. It basically involves tapping or spanking the tomato plants to help pollinate the flowers as there aren't as many honeybees as there used to be mm -hmm. or bumblebees um, to help pollinate. So you kind of have to help the um, tomatoes along by spanking them gently. It makes uh, perfect sense. Yeah. This so, is some, an activity you do with your mom. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, my mom um, likes to help me garden. So hi, mom. Thanks for the gardening help this year. Hi, mom. And, um, Good morning, mom. Yeah. Okay, let's find out if there's legitimacy here to this technique called tomato spanking. John, have you heard of this? Yes, yes. Never heard it actually called that, but yes, that <laughs> the technical of what you do is true, yeah. Okay. Is there a technical term for this? Um, or self-pollinating the plant, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the credible term right there. Okay, and does that actually work? Yes, because they self-pollinate, so their pollen is covered and then you vibrate so it connects. Yeah. Uh, now, some other things that we need to know about maintaining our tomato plants, and an important thing is pruning. So, how do we properly prune a tomato plant? What you want to do is remove all your lateral growth, okay. and you want because you want all the production to go to your your fruit. Okay. So you would just remove all these little side growths, so that they um, don't take away from the the main plant. So you get as much production as possible. So the idea is the energy that's used to grow this extra growth and our season's too short you don't need extra growth you want fruit so okay how often are we doing this as it grows you just keep removing them how often are we spanking our tomatoes <laughs> when you every time you see new flowers yeah. <laughs> okay got it are you taking me seriously here john I am. <laughs> okay how about the fertilization we need to feed these two Tomato plants heavy feeders you always want to feed with a high calcium fertilizer mm -hmm. So this is really good. It's a slow release so that you just, as you water, it's all in there. Your food, very important also to keep your tomatoes evenly moist all the time. Okay. So you don't get a problem called blossom end rot. Okay. And the calcium helps with that as well. And you just keep doing it all summer and hopefully you get large production. Okay, fantastic. All summer long and, and how often of an increment? Well, it's all depending on the cultivar and how much fruit you get. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. We have a contest here that I'm going to look up my script so that you can enter it properly. And uh, just go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, and that's where you're going to find our contest page to enter to win a Green Gate Garden Center makeover, just like Rebecca. So we could be coming to your home and visit your green uh, visit with our expert here, John Duncan. So just make sure you upload a photo of your garden and tell us why you'd like a makeover, and we could be knocking on your door bright and early. Okay. I have some tomatoes in my garden, so... So maybe all they need is a spanking. Who knew?